there are videos where women are doing Reiki. This is meant to clear entities from you. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. I am your teacher. If you are here and you are clicking play, you are in my classroom. And today, on Mr. You Know Who's Neighborhood Show, we're going to be talking about advice for humans, be they angel or demon, on getting out of this place. And this place is hell. We're warming up at 7 a.m. Stand by. Strike down that demon that controls you and declare that you are the commander now. You are in control of your senses. You are in control of your lust. You are in control of your mind. You are in control of your sexuality. You are in control of your finances. You are in control of your decision making. You are in control of the dreams you create within your very consciousness. Are you willing to believe that you are the chosen ones because if you're not you're not and if you're beginning to question if you're beginning to suspect even for a second maybe you will become I want you to feel the power Jedi's that I'm offering you Angels, don't fear angels, but demons and those that serve demons will feel ill, sick. They might even vomit in the toilet when in the presence of a holy one. And they will be convinced that they are God and they are the devil, that the person making them sick is the devil without even listening to what that person is saying. Now, you need to be warned about something, my pretty. Earth is being converted into hell 
and your ass has been marked, tagged, and sold. And you don't even know it yet. You're looking at TikTok? Why? You are commanded now in the name of Jesus Christ to throw away your TikTok account and your whole family. You, the man of the household, must take control now. And now I have an answer for you. Do we have a right to stop our women from leaving us for them? In the end times, you do. Your wife and child, you do. But that's all you have a right to protect and stop from being trafficked. You can jump into another man's business. You can jump into another city's business. You can jump in to Satan's dinner and you can fuck around and find out like I did. I fucked around and found out in one of Satan's kingdom and it's called Portland, Oregon. We're listening, by the way, to the Dystopia album. Doing a free flow. Hey, come on down. Have a cigar. You're going to go far. Or are you ready, my dear, for the red pill? Are you ready, my dear, for the truth about your world? Your world. Your world. In a world without love. In a world without good men. In a world without good women. We cry out for we know we're in hell. Men like me are all across the planet, godly, spiritual, against fornication, against the rape of women, yet we are not loved by our own people and community. The question is why? 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 Why do nice guys finish last? Why do nice women end up molested by bad men? Why do nice souls on earth suffer? What is this place? This place, this place, this place makes me sick. It's the weather. It's the booty shorts. It's the temperature. It's the Satanism. It's just making me so ill. It's the evil. It's the images of rape on the woman's shirt that I passed by on Alberta Avenue in 2011 in Portland, Oregon. It's knowing that they're not on our side. Not even on the side of women getting stuffed into cars to have a destiny to fuck a hundred dudes to death. This reality is happening to women, and we have women that incarnated in this dimension with us that will not respect the godly man trying to stop the rape of the feminine. So we have been sentenced to hell. And they, the women of the earth that threw us away, will one day cry out for good men to save them when the fire comes. And the bad men come by the hundreds. And there are no good men left around. For I know what it's like to pray out to God for a good soul to save me, for I have done it too. I have cried out. I have seen the fire in my life, in my eyes, in my heart, in my, in my. And I have cried out for forgiveness. God, take me back. I'm willing to face and publicly talk about my sin on YouTube with my given birth name. How about you? When he said to me, run for your life, they're angry at you. You're exposing too much. Who are they? Psychics of the audience, step on up. Who are they projecting these thoughts of the Scarface scenario? Who are they? They that watch this channel, they that fear me, they that dislike me so powerfully, they don't have to hit the dislike button. They just do it with their mind. Who art thou dislike this channel? What dimension art thou come from? What is the analytics on this video? What planets am I being watched on? And there we go. We have our clue.
You will not stop the 144. We will stop you, Demon. You've always watched me. You've always hated me. You've always screamed my name in hell. It's him! Ah! Ah! And inside the minds of the unclean that still not have confessed their sins, when I speak my truth, just the screaming inside, it's him! He's saying those things! Ah! Ah! From another dimension in hell, they scream, Stop him! Stop him! From calling out our game. From calling out the game of strip clubs and people that work at strip clubs and promote strip clubs and hang out with strippers and brag about hanging out with strippers, we're in hell! Because I'm from Portland and nobody's gonna tell me not to expose Portland and what Portland did to me. Portland offered me a rope. I asked for a rope and Portland said, How long? You want a tight rope? You want a small rope? Oh, your mommy left you. You need a rope. Here's a rope. You want a blue rope, a purple rope? Here's a girl to bring you a rope. A pretty girl. Oh, yeah, with a nice ass, nice breast. She'll bring you a rope. She'll break your heart. She'll make sure that you are Totonka, buffalo meat. Hmm? Yeah, like Mary and all the rest. Ooh, here comes a man with a heart. Let's engage him with a few emails, then come in for the strike once he reveals his trauma. Boom. Oh, you saved my life. Now I attack your soul. And they don't even know what they're doing. And you think you're watching this channel and you're learning something? How many of you are actually learning something? For this is being made for the Golden Shore in the future that will come to appreciate me and not see me as some bad man. I go out and I talk about the evils of this world and the bad men and manipulations. And there's a few minors, maybe seven to ten females at the table. They're going to be truthed deeper than their pastor. And it's not what I'm saying. It's a voltage from the heart. It's not a perversion. It's a voltage from the heart. And that voltage from the heart is thunderstruck to demonic entities. There are many females and males, little Damians and little Damian females that incarnated. I'm so sorry to those of you parents that are waking up to the fact that the devil is in your kid. Pause. You need to know how this happened. What happened between you and the man? Okay, so little Damien is in your kid. What happened between you and your man? Where is the father? This is my, my this is the favorite quote. This is the, the, the deepest quote, favorite quote and saying of my friend. Every time we see the usual suspects in the news, where's the father? And then I look at her like, where do you think numb nuts? And oh, I don't say that. In prison. They put the fathers in prison. Now, think about this. They put the black dads in prison so the kids will end up fucked up. So bad. Do you know what happens in prison? Let's say you're a 19 year old girl and your parents didn't tell you shit. Do you know that men are raped in prison? Do you know that they create rapists in prison that are then unleashed in the streets to hunt little girls? I asked you a question, little girl. Do you know that the very system that you trust makes men to become rapists in the prison and they don't protect them? I asked you a question. I should be a teacher right now of SOAR studies at the local high school. I am worth it. I am worthy. 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 And every single person fighting me and that truth that my books have value, they are not on my side. You don't have to be my enemy, but you're not on my side. Yes. My shoulders are stronger than normal. My speaking is stronger than normal. My chi is stronger than normal. My libido, well, that right there, I tell it every day, I am in control. You understand? You are the slave. I am in control. I'm sorry you feel abused. I'm sorry you feel neglected, but you've had a whole lifetime to be active. And where has it gotten me? Into this shithole. Into a reality where women don't trust me into a reality where I talk too much, talk too much, talk too much, because I don't have quality therapists to walk this shit through me. In fact, the guy that I was talking to before ain't talking to me now since I was in that place. How do you think I feel? I know you sent me some 
nutbag. Who doesn't believe that my life matters? Who doesn't believe that I should be fighting human trafficking of white women? You see that crazy face? You see the crazy eyes? Am I the crazy one? Or the woman who says that I should walk away from helping you? Pause. Meditation time. Are you training yet? I asked you a question. You're female 19 and are sitting all day long in front of a computer. Do you have mace yet? Do you have a dagger yet? Are you ready to email me and ask me to train you? Bring your boyfriend. Your boyfriend's invited. Boyfriends get the first class free. But first, they got to tell me if they got an attitude that they can topple me. And you got to prove it, and we're going to put it on video. You're going to prove your boyfriend can topple me, and we're going to film it for my channel. You understand? You want to play animalism? You want to play that way? We'll do it. And I'll, W. Campbell give me all the training he wants to volunteer via email, and we'll do Chi Sao. We'll get the real authentic. We'll, we'll call up Bolo Young. Well, that's already been done. But we know. We know that I'm not even close to my capability with martial arts. That I'm like a joke, actually, compared to what I could really be with a master. Now, are you willing to believe that you are the last dragon? That you are the last Mohican? That you are the 144? Are you ready to understand that I am cutting edge when it comes to the truth movement? Do you understand that my soul is torn? Should I email Alex Jones? Should I offer to meet Alex Jones? Should I email the Trump campaign? Hell no, but ain't that a fiery thought for him? Ha, <laughs> but I bet your audience laughs at that one. Chocolate milk coming out the nose. Charles, where are you at? The whole thing's just crazy. Well, but Trump was right about Portland. And what is Portland? Sin City. Hey, my brother from one sin city to another a nod men of the earth lust is our downfall it is the ultimate weapon that satan uses us to keep us in the cage and this is why earth is being turned into hell and they're turning our women into prostitutes and we won't be able to stop them from leaving us for the poll for the new credit system and do not assume that after dollars are wiped that there won't be a robotic overtaking of humanity if shaitan has its way don't assume that god is going to rescue us from the fire that will be the next 100 years we will be walking on the fire in slavery forced into prostitution and many men and women will lose their significant others in the coming years they will just be disappeared okay and it's already happening So this is uh, kind of a new format for me to go back and forth. Let me tune it down on my end. Alrighty. So, um, 
I'll review this video to see how the music blend went. And if there were some imperfections, make the proper adjustments. But I think that this is a good type of a uh, format music meditation pausing talking praying praising and then speaking in a free flow now are you ready for the next chapter are you ready for the next revelation solar maximum is a period of time in which we are in and it is a period of time in which god's wrath is real solar minimum is the yin the yang is the solar maximum and so we are seeing aspects like it or not of god's wrath upon the planet and then soar minimum is a time of less war, less conflict. There's some, but basically the soar maximum and the soar minimum each have a positive and a negative attribute. And in other videos today, likely I will be reading from my books and it will be a very calm centered reading, uh, specifically of the text themselves. And this is being done to promote the idea of me traveling either America and or Europe in the future and and speaking before audiences here I am feeling rejected by people at the bookstore I don't know if they're buying the book or, or if I scared them away by being intense but that's hardcore I won't say racism but what I sense is these people were damaged by the local school system they were damaged by the water they're damaged by the air they're damaged by rapey men rapey Latinos whites they're scared they wear the COVID mask not because of COVID because of fear even if they never admitted that that's what I say that's what I believe even if they don't believe that they think they're afraid of COVID they're are afraid of something else now if you want to stop being afraid little girl little boy then you need to understand that you are brought into a world of temptation and you need to do more than just maybe avoid lust you need to avoid the evil things in this world there's plenty of people that are avoiding lust that are that are knee deep into vi video games not that i want to say that they're all bad some say that there's some good aspects to video games okay i'm talking about call of duty violent video games um uh, um uh, animated pornography which is uh, basically you need to hear me talk about this regularly they use and tag in those animations because i was curious animation and it's done to pull in kids so they use the stars of child uh animations like um is it laura croft so there's certain videos that i won't mention but i mentioned in the past laura croft and say you know certain words and you can run that through google like a child could and then a, a, a little girl could see a white woman be basically being raped to death by the police and military without describing it that's it and i'm going to describe it but with animation right i was curious and have clipped on crazy things and so they do clickbait to go what do you mean in trouble like what and then you click on it and then like this hell is opened up. And so it's through that and through the increase in assault news, which I could predict that I could see the future and many other things, plus revelations from God and a deeper understanding of my sexual morality for not, not making those women that made a beeline for my penis. If they wanted my sperm, they should have been forced. They should have been forced. They should have been forced. They should have been forced to court me for a relationship. They should have been forced to not be polygamous. They should have been forced to be godly women. They should have been forced to be real Christians, not fake Christians that drank alcohol, gave lots of fellatio and pop pills. That's not what a real Christian would do. And fake Christians living in the new world order, they're Satanists. They think that just by believing in Jesus, they're basically black magicians while attacking magicians of the light. They're like, Jesus, John 3, 16, Jesus saves. I can still be a sinner. And so I know telepathically by criticizing porn websites, I make mainstream Christian men nervous and guilty. And so now we're at a level to where people run from me. And instead of me having self-esteem issues, I understand why they run from me. So solar maximum is a time of God's wrath and solar minimum is a time of peace and stability. And it's also a time in which the woman is going to be more monogamous and receptive to the man. So I have lots of information uh, that really does complement Sufi realities. He talks also about how money is going to be wiped away. So make the proper uh, provisions. He doesn't use the word prep. 
he doesn't use the word prep. He uses the word, have your own store. That's how I always saw it, like a store. You have a little of this, you have a little of that, and you're prepared. But the ultimate preparedness is for the afterlife. And this society is demonizing Muslims that believe in the afterlife. I'm wrong to be so mean to Muslim Americans and angry like I did yesterday. Each day that I blow up with fire, aspects of shaitan's deception flows with it. And I correct it and go, there's fire there. There's reason I'm angry, but I don't want to show too much fire or rage or crazy eyes to scare away the love that I need to save the day. And that's very, very important that I find a way to communicate with people in the flesh outside of the boob tube. But I will be expanding my efforts on the internet to wake people up. Because if he can do it, I can do it. Okay, if you're watching me on a big screen, a nice big screen somewhere out there in America, and you're having an explosion in consciousness from what I'm doing, find a way to communicate with me that you're having that. And you don't have to do it on a regular basis. You don't have to be super long-winded, but details help because I don't know the impact of my words upon this world. I don't know how strong I am at times, but I do know that I have abilities and powers of the mind. The question is, how do I harness it for the greatest good? Okay, because I can see my lifetime as a hamster wheel, a lot of psychological energy going to sex, going to drugs, going to haters, going to the internet, going to the YouTube algorithm. And it's caused me to suffer greatly. We need to protect our women. We need to protect our men. We need to be good stewards of the earth. We need to go to the mainstream churches and pray outside the mainstream churches and pray away the entities, which I did today down the street. They know my face. The guy sees me at the market. So again, do we have the right as men to stop the Anunnaki from taking our women? You have the right to stop them from taking your wife and child. This society may, may try to brainwash us into thinking that they have the freedom to leave a good man. And I'm here to tell you that authentically, in the end, good men will prevail over demonic women that want to break up the family. Good men have a role to play on the earth, and good men have been demonized. And good men will ride again, and I will be their life coach. Until I talk to you next time, the path to the ultimate truth and place of peace and power still lies within.
down. 